Many farmers in Ethiopia and Kenya keep livestock as a source of nutrition, manure, labor, and income. However, rising costs of feed, feed shortage, and poor quality of available feeds continue to be a major challenge for farmers and pastoralists in Ethiopia and Kenya. ማለት Zari and Fortunately, farmers can use a locally available resources to make and conserve their own feed. Grass, forage crops, and even crop residues can be used to make feed and even affordable concentrate feed. In this video, we will see how farmers in Ethiopia improve palatability and nutrition of crop residues, make affordable concentrate feed, use of EM1, and hay making. Crop residues are the remains of crops after the grains or valuable part is removed. የመጀመሪያው in the crop livestock mixed farming systems of Ethiopia, crop residues are the main sources of roughages as feed for livestock. Even though farmers rely on crop residues to feed their livestock, the feed are poor in quality as well as low in crude protein energy and digestibility and very high in fiber. After farmers in Debre Birhan harvest their crops, they leave them in the fields to dry for up to two weeks. Once dried, the crop is ready for threshing. Good. Farmers here use their livestock to trample on the residue to separate the edible part of the grain from the straw which is later used as feed for the livestock. ወጭ <laughs> Farmer Gebhut Desi has figured out a great way of making his crop residues more nutritious. He starts by harvesting elephant grass, tree lucerne, and fodder bait. Then he chops them together. Tadesi uses both manual and semi-mechanical choppers to cut the fodder crops into smaller pieces. 
By chopping the crop residues, Tadise minimizes wastage of feed by avoiding selective feeding, thus maximizing on its utilization. Animals usually select the most nutritious parts like leaves to stems. Then, Tadise collects the stored crop residues and mixes thoroughly with the chopped elephant grass, tree lucerne, and fodder bed. This is then directly fed to the livestock. ነሽ <laughs> To treat the crop residues from his field, Asefe Teglesadek uses biological treatment of effective microbes, popularly known as EM. This helps to increase digestibility of fibrous feeds like crop residues inside the digestive system of the animals. To treat the crop residues, Asefa uses a clean tapolin, 20 kilograms of crop residues, measuring container, 1 kilogram of molasses or sugar, clean basin, EM1 solution, 20 liters of water, watering can and airtight container. Asefa starts by spreading a clean tapolin on the floor. Then he spreads the crop residues on the tapolin and removes any impurities like dirt. Once done, if molasses is not available, Asefa measures one kilogram of sugar and puts into a clean basin. Then he pours one liter of EM1 solution that he bought from the local agrofet shop. He measures 20 liters of water and pours into the solution and stirs the mixture gently to mix properly. Now Asefa pours the solution into a watering can and sprinkles the crop residues uniformly as he thoroughly mixes. After that, he gets an airtight container and puts the crop residue in. To reduce the risk of air pockets in the pile, he compresses it with his body weight. The more he compresses it, the more air is pushed out of the pile to ensure good fermentation. Once finished, he closes the lid tightly to avoid any air pockets. After two days, the treated crop residue is ready to be fed to the livestock. Tenagne Getane fattens sheep and sells them during religious festivals to make some money. But concentrated feed that is rich in nutrients that will help her sheep grow faster is costly. So she makes her own concentrate feed using locally available resources at her farm. So how can we make a concentrate feed ourselves at minimum cost? 
አሁን የባቄላ ግርድ ዋጅማ ትርስሪን የህልብ ጣሪ የተቆጠሩ እንትኖቹን አቀናብራለሁ ከዛ እነዛ ነው ውስጥ ቤት አስፈጭና በቂጣነትም በጥጥ የገለባና የድርቆሽ መለወሻ አድርጌ ነው መገባችሁ እና የማደረቸው ነው በንጽህና መያዙ ወጎቹ ምን ያህል ጤናማ እንደሆኑ ይታዩና ነው መግባት የሚጀምሩት ለደልብ የሚሆኑትን ማለት ነው ጤንነታቸው ምን ያህል እንደ ያን ከዚያም በኋላ ማንከባከብም እንጀምረው ከጉጓቸውን ተቀናብረን በኋላ ጤንነታቸውን እንጨቀ አድርገን እናስቀበለን ከዛ ያው እንተን ይላል ይመገባሉ ገለባውን አንድ ቀን ድርቆሽን አንድ ቀን ትርስሪ ደሞ በርጥበት ትንሽ ስከሚከርሙ ድረስ ደረቁንም እንደዛው በዱቄትነትም በጥሪነትም ይወዱታል እናበላቸዋለን Half the mix is made out of grains such as wheat, oats and barley. Grains are rich in starch that give the animal energy. Concentrate feed should also contain a good amount of protein and fat. Here, around a third of the mix is made up of tree lucerne and pulses like chickpea. Depending on where you live and what is locally available, you can replace each of these ingredients by others. After mixing various ingredients on her farm, Tenagne takes the mix to a nearby mill to produce flour. Once she gets back home from the mill, she puts one handful of salt and mixes with water. Then she puts the flour into the water and makes it into a dough. After that, she heats the dough in a hot pan for at least 5 minutes. The dough is then removed from the fire and left to cool for 15 minutes. Tenagne then cuts the mixture into small pieces and adds salt and water. She then mixes with crop residues and feeds her sheep. By making her own concentrate feed, she's able to save more money. Nabogochi demo hen drikoshun iyadetaken. ሌላ ደሞ አጉሎ ፍሬሽካ ያው የማ የፋፍሪካ ተረፈ ምርቶችን እነሱን አብረ እየለወሰን እሱ በማድለብ ደረጃ ከውቶችም ሆነ በጎች ያው አቀላለው አንድ አይነ ነው በጎች ብዙ ለማይፈጁ እንጂ የከብቱም ሆነ አቀላሉ ሄደቱ ጨው ያሰልጋል ያው እሱን እየለወሰን መቀለብ ነው እና ባናነት ይሄ ድርቆሹ ከመረነ መናከሩ ሳር ነው እንግዲህ ባናነት ለድልብም ሆነ ለወተት ምላም እንመጣከም እና ወተት ምላም በተለይ ለመጫቶች ያው ፍሬሽካ እንጠቀማለን ይሄል ትረፍራፊ ግርድ ምንለዋለ ንፋስ ያንጓለለውን ወሰስ ያለውን ለሰው የማይሆነው ንፋስ ያንጓለለ ስናዘራ ንፋስ ያንጓለለው እሱን እናሰጨና አብረን እሱን በኋላ ያለወሰን ተጨው ጋራ በመጠጥ መልክ ያ ወተት እንደገፈው በሱን እንጠቀማለን እንደዛ ያደርኩን እንጠቀሙ Kidane Ayele has been making hay for safe storage of feed without danger of spoilage. Feeding hay to livestock helps reduce the amount of concentrate feeding and thereby the cost of feeding. The low moisture content of hay considerably reduces cost. Crops with thin stems and more leaves are better suited for hay making as they dry faster than those with thick stem and small leaves. This may include among others oats, desmodium, lucerne, maize, sorghum, napier grass and rhodes grass. Ayele cuts his napier before it is fully mature to maximize its nutritive value. Leaves are more nutritious than the stems, and so when cutting forage, 
a yellow cut as much leaf and as little stem as possible. The cut forage is laid out in the sun in as thin a layer as possible and turned regularly to hasten drying. The dried hay should ideally be stored in form of bales when the moisture content is low. This helps storage and requires less space. The drying process may take between two to three days. Some farmers spread feed in a portion of the ground on open air where feeding takes place. However, this can result to considerable loss of feed biomass and quality as a result of weather, pests, contamination and molding. Moreover, there is additional wastage from trampling and defecation on the feed. By using improved feeding troughs and storage sheds, you can minimize wastage and quality deterioration during storage and utilization. So, what have we learned? Crop residues are the major feed resources used as livestock feed in the crop livestock mixed production system in Kenya and Ethiopia. The major sources of crop residues are from cereals which include maize, sorghum, teff, wheat and barley. Crop residues are generally fibrous poor quality roughages and their nutritional values as livestock feed is low. They are especially very low in crude protein and energy contents. Properly select crops, use appropriate agronomic practice, harvest at appropriate time, use good storage and feeding practices to get quality and high crop residues. By using effective microbes to produce different enzymes, hormones and other chemicals, you can improve the flavor, intake, digestibility and overall nutritional efficiency of crop residues. Even after treating crop residues, they may not be nutritionally adequate feed for productive animals. Therefore, depending on your type of production, whether milk or meat, crop residue and hay diets need to be supplemented with quality green forages or concentrate diets. <laughs> Well-fed livestock are very productive and can earn you a lot of money.